Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 630-324-6666. Hi, this is Matt with Learn About Law. In this video, I'm going to discuss Delta 8 and Delta 9 THC. I'll go over what they are, their legal status, and whether or not you should travel with them. So, keeping up to date on marijuana laws and on all of the new products coming to market can be a challenge with the quickly evolving nature of both. States across the country have been legalizing recreational marijuana and new products made with marijuana and derived from marijuana are coming to the market every year. One of the newer products derived from marijuana is Delta 8 THC. Delta 8 has been shown to create a sense of being high, however, it is a newer chemical that has not been extensively studied. Delta 8 is synthesized from CBD which in terms comes from a strain of cannabis commonly known as hemp. The legal status of hemp has recently changed under a federal farm bill, which has made hemp and products derived from it, like CBD, legal as long as they have less than 0.03% THC in them. In addition to this, marijuana laws focus on Delta 9 THC and do not have restrictions on Delta 8 THC in most states. So, as of now, Delta 8 THC is legal in most states, however, the FDA has issued several warnings against using Delta 8 due to the lack of studies on the chemical, as well as the unregulated nature of how it is synthetically produced from CBD. Delta 9 THC is the chemical traditionally associated with marijuana, and is the chemical most marijuana laws are concerned with. Delta 9 have been legalized at the state level in 21 states, however, it still remains illegal at the federal level. If you plan on traveling with Delta 8 or Delta 9 THC, you should research the policy of the airline you are flying on as well as the laws in the states you are flying to and from. If you are flying into a state where the form of THC you are flying with is legal, you could be putting yourself at risk for criminal charges. Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC have been shown to produce the feeling of being high, and if your ability to drive is impaired, you can be charged with a criminal OWI or DUI. If you are pulled over with either of these products, law enforcement will enforce state laws concerning both forms of THC. It is important to know the laws of each state you are driving through to avoid criminal charges. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out the article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments section and subscribe for more legal news daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed the video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Please email us, book online, or call us at 630-324-6666. We have many locations for your convenience and we serve all of Illinois. So thanks again for watching.